Up next on Live It Up, it's Larry Sharp. And today we're going to be talking about his race for governor of New York. Hello. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me again. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Why are you running for governor? It's a great question. I hear that often, obviously. Look, New York State has a lot of the same problems that the entire country does. Rural versus urban, north versus south, the, the suburban areas and the small towns struggling while the cities are the ones that thrive. And New York State is a perfect example of that. New York State has about 18 million people, but we've been losing population. We're now fourth behind Florida. Okay. Well, that's bad, but the city is still growing. New York City is still growing. People are flocking to the city because they know that's where the opportunity is. But we can't have that. We've got to connect the cities with the rest of the state. We can't let New York State, you can't let New York State be a place where New York City is the only center. So we've got to connect them. And we've got to connect them in different ways, through education, transportation, through culture. And the problem is centralizing that control in Albany. That's not going to spur innovation. New York State has to become a place where people want to innovate. Okay. And we can do it. We've got the colleges for it. We've got, we've got Cornell. We've got uh, Columbia. We've got RTI. We've got Syracuse. These are great universities where we can make this happen. And we haven't because, again, we won't release them and let them be them. What we have to realize is never has innovation been spurred in any way, shape, or form been spurred because of control and centralization, right? I'm a business guy. It's what I do. I train people to be innovative. I train people to grow. What's the first thing I do when somebody tells me, Larry, my company's not growing, it's not doing something? I don't say, take more control. It's the reverse. Okay. Right? Reverse. Let your leadership, let it talk, let it breathe, let it act, let it show you how valuable it can be. Will we have some failures? Sure. But we'll also have some massive successes, and we need that. We have to change the culture of New York State, which right now, at its core, is a culture of punishment, not a culture of justice. It's a culture of control, not a culture of innovation. Don't do this, don't do that, don't touch the That's hot correct. stove, right? Yes, don't, 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 right? Oh, okay. there's a problem, pass a law regulation. There's a problem, make a change. There's a problem, attack, right? Recently, we've been talking in New York, in New York State about the idea of free education, right? Sounds amazing, but do we know that free education, you have to stay in the state for the same number of years that you've gone to college for free? Correct, four for four. Yes, which means... Are you for that or no? Of course not. You've just okay. bribed someone to stay in the state. Why wouldn't you instead allow, allow the colleges to do what they think is right? Doesn't RTI or Circus University or Cornell know better than the government? Of course they do. Allow them to do what they think is appropriate. Instead, we bribe them, and we've just asked people to be corrupt. Okay. Because for sure, if someone goes to SUNY for four years right. and finds their dream job in Boston or in Philadelphia, they're going to go. They're just going to lie. They're going to keep. They're going to keep an address with their with their father or their cousin or their brother. They're going to lie. We've just asked people to be corrupt. We've added corruption to a New York State that's corrupt enough. We don't have to add that. Okay. Now I think that's an interesting perspective mm -hmm. uh, because I feel slightly a little bit different than that. Mm -hmm. But I didn't look at it from your from your paradigm shift. Absolutely. So I think conversation is good because it Absolutely. does get things brought up to the surface. Of course. Uh, because for me, I say um, as a single mom, I say, okay, well. That's not such a bad deal, mm -hmm. um, and I want my child to stay near me anyway. <laughs> I Absolutely, want them to move sure, it sounds amazing. <laughs> I don't want there to be a brain drain, um, but you're right. Certain things have to be put in place, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's an overall, maybe a possibility of a good idea. Well, okay? the concept but, is, wouldn't you rather fit a choice? Okay. Instead of accepting, you know what the answer is, bribery and force, right. wouldn't you instead say, why don't I open it up to make New York State a better place so that your daughter or your son wants to stay here. Well, I think maybe I would a rather combination. Them want to stay. Okay. And my point is, we're not even close to that. We're nowhere near. People ask all the time, Larry, what you're saying is very different. How are you going to win? It's a great question. And here's the answer. Right now, there's only two people running, the current governor and me. That's it. Wow. That's all who's running right now. Now, wait a minute. The current governor ha does have a bad disapproval rate at the moment right now, right? Okay. So why aren't Republicans rushing? Why aren't they rushing to uh, oppose him? Why aren't they rushing to do that? because they know they can't win. There aren't enough registered Republicans in the state who show up to vote for them. They're going to lose and they know that. So why aren't they rushing up? Because that person is going to be a sacrificial lamb. They're gonna go up, pretend to fight and lose and, and then Cuomo wins, right? But instead, they can vote for someone like me. Right now, Democrats and Republicans are tribes. That's what they are. There's no real policy there. It's identity politics. I feel more like this or I feel more like that. I fear the other one more, so I vote for that. Politics of fear is a bad idea. Politics of identity is a bad idea. Instead, look for someone like myself. I'm a libertarian. I'm a proud libertarian. 
What does that mean? That means I'm going to have enough of the democratic values, which they don't actually do, but they talk about. Okay. The idea of freedom, the idea of allowing people to be what they want to be, staying out of someone's bedroom. That idea is what I have. Okay. At the same time, at the same values of the, what the Republicans are supposed to have, which means less government, staying in my pocketbook, not heavy taxes, allowing the small business to grow. I have both of those. So someone can actually vote for me and get most of what they want versus voting for the other and getting nothing or voting for the same old thing and nothing changing. An I, independent thinker. That is correct. That's pulling together the best of what it is for New Yorkers. 100%. Got and it. not just that. Okay. Look, people talk about the first 100 days. <laughs> As governor, there's no way I'm going to walk in the door and change everything. That's a bad idea. Again, I'm a business guy. so what I do for a living, right? I don't walk into someone's business and say, fire everybody, change everything. All that does is create fear and worry and everything fails. It encourages rebellion. That's not what I want. It has to be a conversation, a bully pulpit, talking about what we just did right now. Mm -hmm. Having the conversations that will make legislators say, oh, wait a minute, that makes sense. We have to change that. Having the people say, wait a minute, it's not just a left and right paradigm. There's something in between. We have to change that. That is how you can actually get both sides to actually do something that changes, doesn't just maintain crony capitalism, doesn't just maintain corruption. We can actually make a change with a new person in Albany. What I like about you too, Larry, is that you are um, already thinking about solutions to problems that you see, so you're running on a platform of solutions more than anything else. Absolutely. And so I do wish you the best, I, and I thank you for bringing it here to us. I know you Absolutely. just recently announced it on your birthday. Absolutely. You're running for governor. Someone interested, they can go to LarrySharp.com if they want to donate, if they want to pledge, if they want to volunteer. I'm taking volunteers and happy to have people help throughout the state. Excellent. And the thing that I love best about America is that it is a land of the free. And so congratulations on deciding to run. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. And if you're in a community where you decide that you think a solution uh, might be for you to run for public office, please do. You know, embrace that opportunity because it is your right. Thanks for joining us on Live It Up.